Good morning, everyone here from Central Oregon. We are the Biz Bros Podcast. My name is Kyle Nelson. Wonderful co-hosts here, Eli Libby and Clint Payne. Another wonderful episode. Another wonderful morning. We're sipping on some coffee. I got pumpkin spice creamer in mine. <laughs> yep. I'm feeling the holidays. It's yeah, sugar-free. It kind of has an aspartame taste. Yeah, yeah, actually, it kind of does. Yeah, <laughs> I think the other times I did it, I just put a little bit in. Yeah, I, I haven't kinda, really gone. To I kind of, I kind of yeah. <laughs> Well, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How good are morning. we doing today? Good. Great. It's crispy. Mm-hmm. Thirty. Crispy, crispy. Thirty-seven degrees. Thirty-seven. Outside. Starting to freeze. The, these California blood blooded boys yeah, ain't quite used to the cold yet. <laughs> yep. Yep. Winter's coming. <laughs> Don't you still have a California plate? Yes, I do. <sighs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> Thank the DMV for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, let's rock and roll. We got we got um, a uh, a topic today for our episode that uh, kind of drives home on something we're working on right now, and a lot of companies are working on, especially during um, this whole crazy twenty twenty time. A lot of companies are finding ways to give back and to involve their employees into something that's a bigger movement than mm-hmm, than mm-hmm. what they're trying to do and make a lasting effect on the world or just their local area, and that is a CSG program. Mm-hmm. You want to maybe go in depth a little bit about uh, what the CSG programs are and, and what it stands for? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so um, a, a big part of uh, like the movement and um, especially like the, like the millennial <laughs> right. age, right? Everybody wants to work for a company that does good. Mm-hmm. And I think this millennial generation, it's, it's shown that they want to work, or we want to work for a company that does good, that supports something good and stands by something good, but also treats their employees good. And allows them to give back, because as an as an individual, mm. there isn't as much opportunity to give back as a company mm-hmm. to give back. And I think that's why there's this massive movement and push towards doing that. Mm-hmm. So what these are, they're programs of um, the company either donating time or revenue or assets yep. to either a specific nonprofit or doing something different, like mm-hmm. planting a tree, uh, cleaning the beaches. Um, uh, offering water to third world countries, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And so that's really having the company and the executive team making the decision. Yep. It's typically emotional. It usually has something to do um, that has affected them personally or they've yep. been on a trip or they, they have, have had a message from someone that's told them, like, we need help this way and they want to give back because their company is finally in a position to do that. Mm-hmm. Or a company or startup starts with that in mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are doing this so we can do this. Yep, mm-hmm. exactly. So, it's a great segue into the topic. Yeah. The topic is kind of from an executive standpoint, like you said, how do you actually choose one of these programs to, mm-hmm. to you know, go into? Mm-hmm. So. And there's That's different words for it. There's CSG, which is one. And what's the other? CSR. 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 What mm-hmm. does that stand for? Corporate? Social responsibility. Social responsibility. What's the G? Is CSG a thing? Why did it? No, it's, C- it's CSR. CSR, CSR, yeah. I said CSG the whole yeah, time, didn't yeah. I? You're yeah. thinking of a different one. ES, I think ESG is that. ESG, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I meant to say CSR. This yeah. is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> CSR. Uh, CSR programs. So yeah. l- let's jump in. So so <laughs> when, when when you're going to make a decision on how to, how to like which program are you going to go into, what are some of the things um, that go into making that decision? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd, I'd say the the first one is the like the benefit that the, your your company is going to get from from that. So mm-hmm. like, is the company going to grow this year or are they going to grow five years from now? Like right. what is the bigger picture impact that they're going to make? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Totally. Totally. And I, and I think, you know, you can take a step back and, and really look and see like, okay, here's our numbers. What, what is the amount we can put towards this? Mm-hmm. And then with that, what type of impact can we make? Mm-hmm. You know, Exactly. And, you know, we're we're just going for it. The one we're creating, we're going to do. We're doing several different things that we're we're going to do to try to make a difference in the world and in a local level. And it um, some of these are personal, you know, uh, real uh, reasons why we're doing it, and other them um, are just trying to make a difference and be a part of the better good of the world, like one percent for the planet. You know, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you want to chat about one percent of the planet and what they're doing and how companies. Yeah. No, absolutely. I think it's <clears throat> a big part of 1% for the planet, which is a company started by Patagonia. Mm-hmm. And what they, what their root was and what their focus was, was to give back to the planet in some way. And, and these companies and corporations can join 1% for the planet and give a percentage of revenue back um, or participate in one of these CSR programs and be able to really 
really mo- move the needle um, right. from a corporate level. And I think that, again, what I said earlier, um, you know, the, the, the corporation can move a bigger boulder than an individual can. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's these companies that are uh, dedicating 1% of their, their profits yep. are the revenues, right? Per year. Like revenues, top yep. line, like the year. Yep. Mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. It's per, huge. Per, per million. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So you have to do 10,000. So mm-hmm. it's 1% per million. Yeah. That's, it's really cool. Um, I think a big, a big part of um, choosing a program, you know, there's like uh, the programs that we're involved in. There are a couple things that, that, that influence that there's some personal stuff, but I also think there's a, a level of passion that I think a lot mm-hmm. of companies can choose a program based on passion. So, you know, if you like, uh, there's a, so many corporations and so many different volunteer programs and nonprofits out there really for anything. Like, if you like to fish, I guarantee there's I'm a sure. nonprofit out there for fishing. Right, or mm-hmm. yeah, uh, keeping the waterways <coughs> clean. Exactly. Yeah. Like if, if you're passionate about that, there's a nonprofit that you can donate, whether it's uh, you know a monetary value In or fact, it's your time. I mm-hmm. think Sierra Nevada Brewery. Oh, remember, yeah. remember we talked to um, in a... Uh, well, never mind. I, when we were in an uh, outdoor retailer, mm-hmm. they had the Sierra Nevada brew, yeah, beer, yeah. and they were giving it away, and then we talked to that one guy Maybe that was just me. I was talking to some guy that like works for national parks and helps corporations like help like make national parks larger or something Mm. through the waterway systems, keeping them clean and then like taking over the land for the anyways. Mm. I think Sierra Nevada, maybe I just met the guy at the, at their booth is what it Mm. was, but that's really cool. Mm. Oh, (laughs) no, that's, I mean, but that is, but that is a program that like that, that Sierra Nevada invested in. Right. They, they put their dollars and their time Mm -hmm. into that. So, and they do a ton of stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I know that Sierra Nevada is involved in tons of recycling sus- initiatives. Sustainability, and, uh, and sustainability yeah. is, is mm-hmm. massive. But um, let's let's talk a little bit about the 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 story. Um, like, why would somebody choose um, a, C- a, a particular CSR program based on their background or a story that really like hits home to them? That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I'm, I I think that's I think that's a I think that to me is like the root of mm-hmm. people giving back. Is it it totally. means something to them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Go ahead. I, the 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 benefit of like um, somebody somebody whenever you have a past you have more you have more like rapport mm-hmm. with it just like with with meeting somebody like if you have some common interests and like common things that you like and love it's so much easier to have a conversation with that person so in the <laughs> same benefit and like the effect that a CSR program can have on a company is the way that you're able to not only sell to your employees being like, hey, here's what we're doing, here's why we're doing it, and here's what it's for, but also to anybody who you meet who could mm-hmm. potentially want to work with you because of that CSR. That's, and, and that, mm. that that connection that you have with, like, your friends, your coworkers, your connections, like, you're able to take that passion or that personal connection and then turn that into a story. Mm-hmm. And that, that story is a lot more valuable than just saying, hey, uh, yeah, we, we're a $100 million a year company and we donate. 10, yeah. million, 10 million or a million right. or whatever it is that's a, there's more value to that that story than just like a number yeah it's more moving it's like more mm-hmm. yeah you're making yeah. an impact mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. so it's nice when you have an individual one and you're part of like something like one percent mm-hmm. you know you can you can push forward and then also be able to have your own where you can actually like get your hands dirty mm-hmm. the whole company you know yeah i think a good example would be like um you know I, there was the, uh, a lot of them have to do with like the, the beachfront mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. you know, people growing up and they had beautiful beaches. Yeah. They go do their thing. They, they build this company. It's beautiful. They go back home. The beaches mm-hmm. are just like thrashed. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. garbage. There's fish dead because of the garbage. There's plastic. turtles, plastic, that turtles are struggling and stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of companies, they're like, okay, like I want to give back now and I can make yeah. an impact. And it has that personal because I want to restore mm-hmm. what once was. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, mm-hmm. I, I hear that one a lot. It's, a it's like always like the beaches, like I feel like a mm-hmm. uh, four ocean. Is that the company? Is yeah. It? Yeah. With the bracelets, mm-hmm. how all their bracelets are made from plastics mm-hmm. from the ocean. Mm-hmm. You know, I think my wife has one. I got her one one year and uh, that's cool. Yeah. Like yep. they, they went <laughs> the extra step. They built a company, built a, of, product. built a product by making a difference mm-hmm. or like Tom's. Everyone knows mm-hmm. Tom, buy a shoe, mm-hmm. donate a shoe. Like that's mm-hmm. what they do. So they had mm-hmm. to work that into their margins and numbers right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. I think um, a cool example from turning gears a little bit towards like the employee standpoint and like how to choose a program. Yeah. I think it's, 
it's really easy for some companies that are aligned with a certain industry and a certain vertical to choose a CSR program that aligns with that company. Right. Good example, I think. Um, I don't know if they do it, but <clears throat> from the executive team, there's a company called Roughware here mm. in Bend. Um, they are they make dog collars and dog leashes, and they call them dog accessories, dog toys. Um, an easy one, an easy one for them could could simply be going down to the local shelters and, yeah. and playing with the dogs or something because it, it aligns with their company yeah. culture. So I would I imagine they probably do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> or something. I'm sure they I'm sure something they Something with animals or, or yeah. dogs. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's a really cool example of, um, for, for listeners, if you're in a certain vertical, right? obviously your company culture is built around that. They are passionate about that as well. So create a CSR program that allows them to give back right. to that industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's well, I know there's like a, a lot of skateboarding brands. They, they're a part of the Tony Hawk Foundation. Yeah. Like they're oh, yeah. trying to make a difference to build more skate parks around the United States. Mm. Or fixing old ones up. That's really I cool. I know that's a big one. Hmm. A lot of skateboard brands donate money to that. That's cool. And I that's mean, what they do. I, I've never... That's what Tony Hawk Foundation does. Oh, they yeah, and Chico. Sk- Chico. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, they, he put there. money into that. He came there. <laughs> yeah, they just like... They fix skate parks up or they dump money into building a new one for a city if the city cannot smart. pay for it. Smart. It's very smart. Mm-hmm. But it's like Tony Hawk is very skateboarding. It's alignment. And yeah. then skateboarding brands, you know, skate, you know, whatever, clothing and magazines yeah. or whatever is out there now. Yeah. They can put money towards it mm-hmm. and be a part of that process. It's really cool. Similar to similar to to Pow. Pow. It's a whole another example. Mm. That that's really cool. I, I'm sure all the snowboarding brands and skiing brands they, yeah. they donate. They probably yep. participate in helping mm-hmm. out in some way. But yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. So a lot. there's a company um, that we're working with, and there's a company that um, is really moving this whole CSR program mm-hmm. forward. Mm-hmm. And the, really, there's no one else like them, and they're called We Hero. Mm-hmm. And what We Hero does is you can go as a company and say, "Hey, I want to put on an event uh, with my with my with my employees." Mm-hmm. That event could be planting trees. It could. What else are they? They've talk been about like uh, They've done like tons packing of stuff. backpacks packing for kids. Right? Kids. You know, can't do that for inner inner city like mm-hmm. schools. Trash pickup, ocean trash pick up. You can go to them and say, "Hey, I've got 500 employees. How can we do a cool event?" Yep. They'll do everything from the event coverage to the mm-hmm. logistics to making sure that. But what's really cool what they've been doing is they've been doing with the with the stay at home orders and, and the lockdown and stuff is they've been able to create really cool programs for people that are working remote. So you can actually make a difference. Yeah. Like our like our friend's company, White Rabbit, yep. web development app company in Seattle. Mm-hmm. He did that. He had it so everyone was remote and he's got fifty employees. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he's got a ton of employees now. And they were able to do make a difference all together, yep. mm-hmm. which is really cool. It's super cool. They're, they're unifying everybody. It's a great way for culture, yeah. like to build culture while you're remote. And We Hero has been able to figure that out, which is really cool. And that's what we're working with to create a CSR program mm-hmm. so we can make a difference and position ourselves. That's a super good point. So shout out to We Hero. Up. Yeah, absolutely. That's a really good point you bring up, bring up um, in terms of culture and how a CSR program mm-hmm. can actually help develop culture. Right. I think that's huge. It's, it, it's, it's huge. I mean, when people can get outside yeah. and do stuff it, together. It, 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 well, it shows like, like for everything, like this is, this is actually, this is deep. Everything that everybody does, every single email that's sent mm-hmm. for us, every photo taken, every mm-hmm. second of editing you're doing, mm-hmm. every conversation is literally pushing the company towards being able to put more money behind mm-hmm. making a difference. Yep. Mm-hmm. So if you look at your day-to-day operations in that way, like it actually is a very strong like mm-hmm. way to move yourself forward. Like I know this email, literally clicking enter and, and making this sale or, or getting whatever is literally pushing forward to, to that CSR program. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you install that into your employees or your team or coworkers mm-hmm. or whatever, or your executive yeah. team, installing it into them to really think that way and really like, I mean, it's impactful as a human, like knowing that, Everything you're doing mm-hmm. is moving it forward. Especially oftentimes Pretty too, cool. like the average person, uh, maybe who, who isn't, who aren't in a company that does something like that. And, you know, people who consume the media and they learn through documentaries and they're learning all this stuff on Netflix and like they're starting to think about it more mm-hmm. because it's becoming more um, communicated like to the general just world. Right. Yeah. People, I think, are starting to have this desire to say as an individual, it's very... I mean, yes, I can, you know, buy a reusable water bottle. Right. I could go pick up trash on my own. I could go do all these different things. But when you're working in, like, an environment with a company that, like, that's what they put as, like, a secondary initiative to right. what they're actually for-profit businesses mm-hmm. doing, you see that as, like, okay, like, that's, that's a, a great point. That's a differentiator for why I would want to go work at Results Imagery. Right. 
because they have a <clears throat> they have a program that gives back and helps the whole world on a, like a bigger level. Hundred percent. I think another good yeah. That's awesome. that, I don't. You yeah. saying that brought me back to another example. Um, a client of ours, a partner of ours in the past was Chico Bag. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. They're the number one reusable bag company, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and their whole movement started from their founder Andy, like having this this time in his life with these reusable or these uh, throwable bags, mm-hmm. one-time use bags mm-hmm. from the grocery store. And he like went on a mission to like create the best reusable bag ever. Yeah. And it is, their bags are amazing. But like they have a whole story if you go on the website, like about the bag monster. Yeah. That was called, yeah. Like yeah. Bag, something like that. Something yeah. like that. The grocery something bag monster. Like and he goes and speaks about like mm-hmm. why, mm-hmm. you know, one-time use bags are so, so bad for the environment. Absolutely. And he created a product and now it's chicken bags mm-hmm. everywhere. It's awesome. I mean, we have tons of them. We all do. Totally. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. It's about the story. So it's about the story. And then I, I really love the companies that like start a product to like, mm-hmm. like the CSR program is the company. Like that's totally really cool. Mm-hmm. That's pretty super, cool. Super cool. Yeah. Impactful brands. It is. And I like when the brands like that too um, are very like transparent with, with what they're doing mm-hmm. and why they're doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, like, the, like Chico Bag is a good example, I think. And there's a lot of other ones, but like visually showing that and, and, and constantly putting in front of people's eyes, like mm-hmm. bags floating around the ocean, like that does something and pulls on <laughs> yeah. people's heartstrings. Like, man, like, why am I doing that? Like, and it's just a great, I mean, really mm-hmm. it's generating profit for them as well, but it's cool to, to have yeah. that being tra- transparent. The profit thing is, the, the whole profit thing is, is actually pretty <clears throat> pretty interesting. Because like, I think people, yeah, if, if any company starts that kind of a program, of course there's going to be the people who latch on like cheek using Chica bag for an example. Um, th- somebody who hates plastic, maybe they saw some documentary on Netflix. Cause I think yep. that's like the general population. It's mm-hmm. like, Oh, you watched a documentary and then you're yeah. freaking, then you're like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm never going to do that again. Yeah. Yep. That's like what is j- becoming like the general consensus. Like mm-hmm. that's it. But then you have these, these companies that are like, Oh, we're going to, we're going to do this initiative and like make this a thing, make this something that we do as a company we care about the profit of course because yep. like you kind of have to mm-hmm. right otherwise there is no company but i i do think that there's kind of this like common ground for where i think every company in some way shape or form should have some sort of a program that is providing that kind of resource for their team and that's essentially what kind of like we hero is is doing yeah. for us is like they're making that possible because we don't have like the capabilities and the resources to make it actually work right whereas with this whole for profit thing, like every every business is in in mm-hmm. business for profit and to make money mm-hmm. to make money. Yeah. So at the end of the day, if you, if you're taking one percent or even point zero five percent of your your you know total revenue for yeah. you know five years, mm-hmm. like what's the impact that that made it's on like of, the bigger picture? Right. And that's where I think a lot of people don't maybe fully understand. Right. It's like it's just a li- it's a little bit, but in in the general bigger picture scheme of things, it's like it's a lot, like. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's very, huge. It's very big. It's very huge. impactful. Yeah. I mean, that's really what 1% for the planet tries to educate mm-hmm. people on. Right. And educate businesses on. It's like as one, it's one percent. It doesn't seem like it's a lot, but when you add the numbers up over five years, yeah. like it's a lot of impact. And mm-hmm. over all the companies that are participating in that and, and have that badge. Million. I mean, millions. Mm-hmm. That, and it's, and it's, it's it, with us creating a CSR program, mm-hmm. like now when I shop online and like, or even locally, like when I see that 1%, like mm-hmm. it really does make me want to shop with that company. Mm-hmm. I'm like that company, like mm-hmm. being from like a like a, a, a business owner perspective, like mm-hmm. that person is making the decision to make one percent less for the company, and quite frankly, one percent less for like everyone, mm-hmm. like yeah. for their own pocket, like everybody, mm-hmm. like and they're putting that forward. Even mm-hmm. the small businesses, Downtown Bend has a, a library uh, bookstore, mm-hmm. and they do one percent for the planet. And I'm like, wow. a bookstore? Like, they're already, like, not, <laughs> like, that's bookstores are almost crazy. a thing of the past now, unfortunately, and they're doing it. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, that that really means that the voice of the owner, like, they really want to make an impact. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. compared to these massive companies where, of course, they're trying to make an impact. Yeah. But they, they can really afford it. Like, they mm-hmm. can afford it. The profits are so large. Yeah. Where, like, a bookstore, I don't think their margins are probably yeah. that big. Especially during that's a impressive. pandemic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's, that's got to be rough. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. 
Yeah. Bigger, 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 bigger picture thinking. Ten, 10 years from now, mm-hmm. the, the, you know, thinking about the companies that are um, seeing the public, the public companies start right. to do these things, <clears throat> Amazon, Apple, Tesla, like there's all these massive companies that are like publicizing, making it more pronounced. Just how Netflix is like, they're making these things, whether it has to do with plastic, right. like social equality right. stuff, like everything, like it's becoming more sh- like mediatized in, mm-hmm. a, in a format that's educational. So I, I, you know, 10 years from now, like I'm very curious to see where things are going to be at in this space. And like, is every company just going to have something right? or, you know, what's the percentage of companies that are going to have some sort of a program that makes them just, that's, that's the standard. Right. Like, Oh, like, you what know. does this company do? Yeah. Yeah, what did they come up with? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, what is the impact that, like, they're, you know, on a local level, do, you know, like, what do, what do they do to help, like, conjoin their efforts, like, per town, per city, per county? Like, is there certain types of things that make that yeah. town, oh, wow, like, you know, the top 10 companies in Bend do mm-hmm. this. They're all part of this program. They do this. And here's why. Because it's, like, a common like invested like the power of with like mentality I, yeah i think it's already happening yeah like oh, yeah. like um yeah, i'm not i don't think any of us are really huge facebook users but mm-hmm. no you go on facebook and like they are always pushing something to raise money now mm-hmm. like every time it hits your feed yep. there's something like uh you know we've we're trying to get five million dollars mm-hmm. throughout all mm-hmm. users we've reached four million for this specific organization so these platforms are putting it they are making it more normal. They're mm-hmm. normalizing the the fact of, you know, nonprofit organizations and being able to donate and like appreciate mm-hmm. them and mm-hmm. how important they really are. I totally agree. I think you see it in the brick and mortar side too. Mm-hmm. Like you go to Safeway or like oh, you yeah. go to grocery yeah. store. Your dollar, yeah, that's yeah. been around forever. It's been around forever. Humane Society, put your dollar in. Yep. And now the Ronald McDonald Foundation, mm-hmm. you can put your money in at McDonald's. I don't go to McDonald's. Yep. I'm just saying, I remember that as a kid. Yep. Like in the drive thru I remember my dad always putting like a dollar in there. Mm-hmm. And then now as, as, as like the, um, uh, specifically to Safeway, as Thanksgiving comes around, they mm-hmm. ask you to, oh, yeah. to donate for to hungry kids. Yeah. Do you want to uh, buy a bag of groceries? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. For five bucks, you literally buy a bag of groceries mm-hmm. and you donate yep. it. Yep. It's so I think point. it's happening. I mean, it's happening everywhere. Companies being normalized, which exactly. is very, it's it's a very awesome. good thing. Yeah, it's you know social responsibility. You got to help one another out. We're all human, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it was really cool when I was shopping the other day for um, grabbing some props for a shoot. This guy ahead ahead of me was like, and he just instantly was like, "Yeah, put twenty in buck, twenty bucks in there." Like on top of his massive bill, he had this like just cart full of groceries. Say for he's like, "Yeah, throw twenty on there." Oh the, wow! For the that's the pretty kids. cool. So it was we, really cool. So would you put? Um, I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for Link yeah. in the corner, you're yeah. like, uh. yeah, I wish I had some more. It's, like, it's yeah. like the whole pay it forward thing at yeah. Starbucks. It, oh yeah. Totally. If you don't do it. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. but it's kind of part of it though. Yeah. It it's is. like giving it's people that mentality of like, like just being a better human. It absolutely. And it's really is. important because if we were all better humans, then there wouldn't be so much chaos in the world mm-hmm. and just like crazy, just like opposite. Yep. Like, you know, just everything. Mm-hmm. And, and companies and corporations can lead that with this. CSR yes, program. they have yeah. voices that they can actually like utilize in a good way. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and be able to push it and like yep. make people normalize it and make mm-hmm. it like just a thing that we all yep. do. It could, yeah, it can make people good people because mm-hmm. those people spend mm-hmm. a majority of their days, yeah, at work. Yes, mm-hmm. it's, it's all good. It I is. Love it. it is. It's all well, good. It was a good. Nice topic. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, we love our. So we highly recommend any companies out there. Um, definitely contact We Hero, uh, yep. WeHero.co. They can help you create a mm-hmm. CSR program or just do some research online about CSR programs and just start one grassroots at your own company. Follow the movement. It's perfect. WeHero.co. Yep. Awesome. Well, that wraps it up, right? Yeah, that wraps it up. Yeah. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at biz.bros. Got a website that's about to be launched here pretty quickly. And make sure to subscribe to our podcasts on every podcast marketplace platform there is out there. We're there. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. See ya.